The following is a presentation of the WOA Senior AA Men's Hockey League. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Durham, Ontario, Canada, for tonight's WOA Senior AA Hockey Game between the host, Durham Thundercats, and the visiting Minto 81s. There are a lot of games on the schedule tonight. Tilsonburg is in Clinton, Tavistock is in Petrolia, Ripley is in Saugeen Shores, Shelburne is in Shallow Lake, and then, of course, our game. Uh, standings, well, they are jam-packed at the top. Ripley is tied, or Ripley leads Saugeen Shores by two points. Uh, Ripley is 12 and one, they have 24. Saugeen Shores at 22, along with Clinton and Shelburne. Seaforth is in fifth at 17 points. Tilsonburg at 16, Durham at 15, Tavistock at 14. Minto and Delora tied at 11. Petrolia and Milverton tied at 10, and Lucknow has four, Shell Lake with two. Uh, both teams tonight, they are loaded. Over on the Durham side, you have the Graham brothers who lead, co-lead this team. They have 23 points apiece. And always look out for Jake Brown, who has 19. Over on the Minto side is Adam Kowalik and Wade Pfeffer. They have 20 points apiece for the Minto 80 points. Starting in goal tonight for Durham is number one, Matthew Roulette. And starting in goal for Minto is number 30, Ben Nelson. Puck drop is next here in Durham between the Durham Thundercats and the Minto 81s. everyone and welcome to Durham, Ontario, Canada for tonight's WOAA Senior AA Men's Hockey Contest between the Durham Thundercats and the Minto 81s. Durham comes in at 7, 5 and 1 while the Minto 81s are 5, 7 and 1. Not playing for Durham tonight is Kyler Borth, Kyle Montpetit, Jordan Lang, Brady Becker, Keith McMillan, Sean Hill, Mitch Betts, Mitch Good, Mike Corvisser, Devin Cobalt, Bill Terpstra. Not playing for Minto is Austin Gabry, Brady Anderson, Jordan Deloria, Caleb Witzel, Tommy Hugars, AJ Nickel, and Keegan Angel. Ben Nelson is the starter for Minto, while on Durham's side it's Matthew Ouellette that starts for Durham. Puck is in the Durham zone. This is Adam Kowalik with it now. He's got it along the sideboards. His shot went wide, and it's going to come all the way out and down the ice. Back into the Minto zone. Nelson plays it over to Kyle Ellis. He tried to play it ahead, but it was intercepted. Now it's to the center, but it's intercepted by Shantz, and they'll turn it ahead. This is Kowalik in across the Durham line. He'll shoot. That's a pad save from Moulette. Nice save. Kowalik's got it again in behind the net. He circles out. He'll play it to the point. Pleon keeps it in. He'll send it in deep. Pfeffer shot. That's off the stick of Ouellette. Comes to the line. Mike Pleon keeps it in. Sent ahead, but now Durham is going to get it in the neutral zone, and this is Zach Graham. Graham wears number eight for Minto. He has it at his own blue line. He'll come ahead into the Durham zone. He's across the line. He'll shoot on Ouellette. He'll make the save, and he'll hang on. Nice stop by Matthew Ouellette. Andrew Rogers here for play-by-play -play tonight. Should be a good one. Big game in the standings. Minto currently trailing Durham by four points in the standings. They've played one less game. Faceoff is controlled by Durham. They have it. They'll bring it ahead, and this is a cross to number nine, Riley O'Connell, the former Minto 81, Riley O'Connell. Yes, I'll mention that throughout the night. Trevor Houston had it stripped away. Cote gets that shot in weekly on Uletti, makes the pad save. Up is Jake Pleon. He has it now. Sends it to Harrison. Harrison shot. That was blocked. It's going to come up the boards. Harrison keeps it in, puts it towards the net. And that's going to go off of Ouellette's stick and out of, the, out of play. It'll be whistled down. Face off coming up here. It's to the right hand side of Ouellette. Graham loses the draw at its back, and Durham's got it in behind their own net. This is going to come across. Number 12 with it, Justin Abraham. He'll send it across. It's intercepted by Adam Kowalik. Kowalik in on the backhand, sends it to the middle, but it doesn't connect. And now O'Connell's got it for Durham. 
He'll bring it ahead, three on two. It's across. Trevor Houston with it now. His shot stopped by Nelson, and it's deflected away. And now here comes Minto the other way. Zach Graham in across the line. He'll hold it. Puts it in for Kowalik in behind the Durham net. Kowalik has it now. He'll stop it there. He'll look for a man. He'll find Graham. Graham to the front. He was bodied off a bit now, and here comes Durham. It's ahead now. They have three. It's in across the line offside. The puck was played back across, and it come in off, offside across the Minto blue line. It'll be whistled down. Seventeen forty-two to play here in period one. We're just getting started here in Durham. Thundercats in the 81s. Face-off controlled by Durham. They'll bring it in across the Minto blue line. They'll put it in deep now. It comes to the center, but it's picked up there by Denver Hill. He'll put it up to Colin Hartwick. Hartwick will dump it in and it'll go give chase. Ulad out to play it. He'll play it away from Hartwick. That was dangerous, but now they come ahead with it. Durham in across the line. Number 13 is Andrew Boyle. He had the puck stripped away and it's all the way out and it's gonna go all the way down the ice. Roulette out to stop it. He'll leave it there for Captain Kyler Nixon. The Durham captain, very skilled. He'll bring it ahead now and it'll be dumped in and Durham will go for a change. Back to get it with Shantz. Shantz ahead and it's gonna come all the way to Francois Cote. He'll skate across the Durham line, go to the backhand. His shot eva almost evaded Roulette, but he did a nice job to cut down the angle. Hartwick had it stripped away, and here comes Durham. In across the line. This is number eight, Justin Graham. Back to the line. It's sent across, and it's going to be picked up there. To the center, but it's intercepted. Here's a chance. Oh, that was sent over the net. Dangerous opportunity for Jake Brown of, of Durham, number 19. It comes ahead to Cote. He'll skate it across the door. Line of shot. Nice blocker save from Roulette. It's into the corner now. Going to come to the line and out. Brown's got it. He's hacked by Harrison. It's still in the Minto blue line, and it's going to be whistled again on the offside. Fast pace here in the first period. We're almost four minutes in. Still looking for the game's first goal. Face-off coming up just outside of the uh, Minto blue line. Graham out there with Kowalik and Peffer for Minto. Back to Mike Pleon. Pleon to Peffer. He'll play it across to Jamison Buck. Buck gets to the center line and dumps it in. It's going to be gloved by Ouellette and he'll hold on. Graham's in his kitchen and he'll say hello to Matthew Ouellette, who he's obviously met before as he uh, holds it and will get a face off here in the Durham zone. It'll come to the left-hand side of Ouellette. Puck is won by Durham, it's back and around. Trevor Houston played it ahead and they're gonna get it to the line and out. Peffer's got it, he'll give it back to Buck. Buck in his own end, he'll start ahead. He'll come across center and he'll move it to the line but it's intercepted there. In ahead, this is Graham, Justin Graham. This Trevor Houston shot, oh! Nice play from Ratchford. He joined the play and almost got a quality chance. Here comes Graham with Fever Knight bouncing rebound. They score! Zach Graham on the rebound stuffs it past through lead and it gives the 81s a 1 0 lead. So Minto strikes first here in Durham. Zach Graham with the goal and with 15 29 to play. Minto leads it one to nothing. A great chance one way is stymied by the 81s and they come back and they score one of their own and they're on the board first. So Pfeffer and Kowalik get assists on the Graham goal. Good chance by Durham was stymied there by Ben Nelson with the glove. It's to the Minto net, but it's blocked. Shane Ross tried to play it around, it's intercepted. In deep now. Number 10 was Kevin Tremble, he played it in deep. It's behind the net now. Number 13 is Andrew Boyle. He's there with, uh, in support, is Jack Francis along the boards. Boyle with Francis, the puck comes to the line, it's kept in by Dean Nixon, across. Here's a shot, nice blocker save from Ben Nelson. It's gonna come ahead, and here's Hardwick. 
He's got a partial break and shot. Nice pad save from Ouellette. Wow, Hartwick was all alone up there. Nice save though by the Durham goalie. It's sent in by Nixon. He'll go after it. Big body check. He crushed Francois Cote. But now puck comes to the middle and Kyle Ellis has it. He'll send it ahead to Harrison. He'll put it across for Drew Schantz. He'll come ahead. He'll send it there. He'll get it back. Schantz tried to put it towards the net, but it was intercepted. Cote to the middle. It almost found Hartwick, but it goes off of him. Comes to the line. Ellis couldn't keep it in. And now we're going to get a penalty to... I, I don't know if it's going to go to Minto or Durham here. Looks like Durham's going to get the penalty, and it's going to go to Dean Nixon, number 11. So Durham takes the first penalty of the hockey game here in period one with 14.04 to play. Dean Nixon's going to sit for a cross check, and Minto goes to the power play. Face off one back by Minto as they set up on this power play here. Kyle Ellis, Jamison Buck. Buck plays it across to Ellis. Ellis has room, his shot, tipped, rebound. Oh, that went over the stick of Graham as he was looking for his second of the game. Comes all the way back. Justin Graham will give chase against Jamison Buck. He's in there on the four check. Nice job on this penalty kill. Buck has it in behind his net and he'll start away. He looked for Rock Pfeffer, nice pass. Oh, great glove save for Moulet. What a stretch pass from Jamison Buck. That was awesome. It's gonna come ahead and Ben Nelson Stops it there and he'll leave it for Buck. 120 to play, or 120 to go in the power play to Minto. Graham comes ahead. He puts it to Mike Pleon. He was body, but he gets it in deep. It's gonna come to the behind the net, all the way to the line where Mike Pleon keeps it in. He'll put it to uh, Graham. Graham across. Jake Pleon over to Mike. Shot! That went off a of pad in front. That's gonna be sent all the way out and down the ice. 53 seconds left in the power play. Graham has it at the Durham blue line. He'll bring it in across the line, send it in deep. He was looking for Pepper, but he couldn't get it to him. Now he's got it. Still a fight along the boards. Gonna come to Mike Pleon at the line. He'll give it to Graham. Graham surveys the scene. He's looking towards the net. He'll put it in deep to Pepper. Pepper puts it, oh, he was looking for Junior, uh, Jake Pleon, but he uh, it hopped over his stick and it went all the way back into the mental zone. 24 seconds left in the power play. Comes all the way around, and it's gonna be tipped out, and here comes Jake Pleon with it. Pleon in across the line. Oh, he tried to get it, but he still got it now. It's in the front. Harrison had it knocked off his stick, and he couldn't get a quality chance off. Seven seconds left to go in the Minto power play as it's in the Durham zone. Matt's gonna come all the way out. To the line, Shane Ross has it there. He'll put it ahead. Colin Hartwick goes in after it. Penalty is over to Dean Nixon. We're all even now. Comes over to Riley O'Connell, who wears number nine for Durham. It's in across the center line. Oh, and down goes Graham. On a body check from Chris Hardy. Puck is ahead now. It's in across the line, O'Connell. Puts it across to Nixon. He was looking in front, but it failed to connect there. And now here comes Minto with it. Hardwick, he's all alone. Shot, oh, and he just missed the glove hand of Ouellette. That was very close. Puck is to the front. Nice save for Moulet as he stuck that away with the paddle. Comes across. A way to go after it is Jake Brown. He's put into the boards by Ross. And we're gonna get a whistle and we got another penalty coming up here. The penalty is gonna go to Ross, I believe, for holding. Unless. So the penalty is called for holding. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go to Shane Ross of Minto, number 22. So with, so with 11.17 to play, holding is the call. And uh, Durham will go to their first power play of the night. Buck is one ahead by Dur uh, Minto. It's controlled in their own end. Jamison Buck has it on the boards. Durham trying to get it away from him and does. It comes to the center. Nice awareness from Ben Nelson as he finds it and holds on. So this power play for Durham consists of number 21, Mitch Wright, and 
both Justin Grahams. Number 22 and number eight. They share the team lead in scoring with 23 points each. Kyler Nixon plays it across. Dean Nixon throws it in. Or excuse me, number 19, uh, 19, Jake Brown. He's on this power play. Shot, that just goes wide. Rebound, nice save from Nelson. He slid across as that puck come creaming off the end boards. And uh, Graham got a shot across, but Ben Nelson made a nice save and he'll hang on. There's 130 remaining in the Durham power play. 10.47 to play here in period one. Uh, Minto leading one to nothing. That puck is won back by Minto and they'll send it all the way down. Ouellette leaves it there. Kyler Nixon has it now. The Durham captain starts it ahead. It's in across the Minto line now. Graham has it. He's out there still with Mitch Wright and the other Justin Graham. Puck is uh, battled in by Ellis. He tries to get a hold of it on the end boards, but he can't. It comes back to uh, Jake Brown. Jake Brown over to Kyler Nixon. Nixon gets to the center. He'll look for a lane. He'll put it over to Justin Graham. Graham down low. Here's a shot. Nice pass save from Nelson. The rebound is loose. Comes back to Nixon at the point. There's a lot of bodies in front, but it's going to be intercepted, and Minto is going to send it all the way down. 38 seconds left to go in this Durham power play. Nixon is forced to go back as he's bodied there by Tyler Harrison who does a nice job on the penalty kill. Nixon's got a lot of speed. He comes in across the mental line. He'll leave it. Trevor Houston shot. Oh, that just missed on the blocker side. Cote has it taken away. Trevor Houston sends it in low. This is Derek Matheson, number 27. He'll play it in low. It's to the center, it doesn't connect. Here's Riley O'Connell. Five seconds left in the Durham power play. Ratchford. Down low to Matheson. Matheson on the sideboards. We're all even now. Here's a shot. Oh, that just missed on the glove hand of Nelson. It's played in a high, high stick by Durham. And they're gonna touch it. It's gonna be whistled. Matheson played it on the high stick and then touched it himself. And the faceoff's gonna be uh, just outside the Minto zone. A lot of chances for Durham, but they can't connect. They can't put one behind Nelson. And we remain one nothing Minto. 9.07 left to go here in period one. Minto leads 1-0. Zach Graham with the Minto goal. Face off is won by Durham. That's sent in right on Nelson. He stops it with the blocker hand and it'll just hang on. I don't think he quite knew where that was in his equipment, but he holds on for the face off. That one was sent in by Ratchford. Nice, uh, nice shot from just outside the blue line. Ratchford and Justin Abraham were out there, but now we got Dean Nixon out there with Eric Anetta. He wears number seven for Durham. Face off one by Durham. They try and get it to the center, but it's intercepted. Cote gets it out. Jake Pleon goes after it. Here comes Cote, shot, nice safe roulette. He puts it away. It's gonna be to the line, and now Jake Pleon's got it. He'll send it to Cote, it's shot. Blocker save, it's in the air. Cote's got it again, back to the line. Hardy shoots. Pad save from uh, Ouellette. Puck is still in deep. Denver Hill, or Jake Pleon with it. He's out there with Francois Cote and Tyler Harrison on this line. Puck is sent out and it'll come to the center. In across the line. Here's Boyle, he sends it in deep. In a no, big body check from Oosterveld on number 22, Shane Ross. In comes Graham. Graham with it on the backhand, he'll go around the net. He still has it now. Looking to the center. Ouellette does a nice job to find it and puts the glove down and he'll hold it for a face off. Durham throwing their weight around. Nice body check from number three, Andrew Oosterveld on number 22, Shane Ross. Good crowd here in Durham for tonight's WOA Senior AA Men's Hockey Game. It comes ahead. Number 19 is with it. Jake Brown, he'll come across. He was a body check by Shantz, and he'll be sent all the way to the center line. Adam Kowalik has it now. His shot, that goes just wide of Ouellette. It'll be played ahead. It goes off the stick of Jake Brown, but he didn't cross center, and he'll go for icing. Yeah, 
They're saying in the crowd here that Brown tipped it and that it shouldn't have been an icing call. Either way, the face-offs in the Durham zone. Graham puts the draw ahead, and Minto, or Durham controls, and they get it all the way out. It's going to be another icing call. And the face-off's going to come back in the Durham zone. We'll do it once again. Kowalik out there with Graham and Pepper with Drew Shantz and Kyle Ellis for Minto. Wright is thrown out of the faceoff, and in comes uh, Jake Brown to take the draw, but now he's gonna be replaced. Puck is won by Minto, at least they control it. Graham's got it now. He'll send it to Ellis. His shot deflected. Oh, and Ouellette makes a huge save as he came across. That was dangerous. Ellis sending it in front, hoping for the deflection. And uh, Pfeffer almost connected, but Ouellette was equal to the task and came out and made a huge save. Nice stop by Matthew Ouellette. Back to the line, shots, shot! That went just wide of the blocker side. Durham will get it out. Graham played it ahead. And now, here it's back to the Durham line. It's ahead. 21, Mitch Wright plays it. Justin Graham in across the line. He loses the puck and Ellis has it now. He'll play it ahead. That goal is off the skate of Kowalik and he's got it. And across the line, makes a move. Shot, nice save, Ouellette, all rated on tight on Kowalik, wow. Kowalik has it again. Fef uh, Graham comes up with the puck. Sends it over to Fever, oh, what a stop by Ouellette. Wow, what a save. That was a huge save on Wade Pfeffer, wow. Minto pouring it on in a stretch here. Matthew Ouellette's been forced to come up big on a number of occasions here in this first period. Face off here to his left. Aiken wins it over to Hartwick. 6.48 to go here in period one. Minto leading 1-0. Aiken has it. He tried to look for Denver Hill. He's got it now. He sends it in low. Aiken is going to go after it, but it's going to go away from him. It's going to come to Riley O'Connell. He'll play it ahead. Denver Hill intercepts. It's sent in and Nixon has it now. Kyler sends it around to Trevor Houston. He tried to get it out, but Hardwick's got it. His shot just went wide to the glove hand. Aiken battles for it with Derek Matheson. Matheson's going to skate it out. He's going to have to turn back, though, as he's out there with Kyler Nixon. Over to Nixon. All ahead, and Aiken does a nice shot to get in the way of that. Hill leaves it. Hardwick's got it. Shot! Nice save, Roulette. It's into the bread basket, and it'll hang on easily. And he'll cover for a face-off. 6.05 remaining here in period number one. Minto 81's leading one to nothing. Both teams getting changes here. Cote in on this draw. He's out there with Jake Pleon and Tyler Harrison. Puck is controlled by Durham. It's in some skates. Cote in on the body check and Jake Pleon comes up with it, gives it to Cote. Cote, still in DP battles there with Eric Anetta. Back to the line, Hardy shot is deflected away. Harrison's got it for Minto. He's back to the line, it's gonna come out. And away they go, Oosterveld. Or number 13, over, shot scores! What a nice play. Andrew Boyle, number 13, sends it across, and that's a Durham goal. They tied this game up, we're tied at one. And a familiar tune goes through the building. If we had a Leafs game or a Thundercats game, I don't know. Durham answers, they uh, tie this game at one, and with 5.35 to play, we're even. Nice play from number 13, Andrew Boyle. Puck is won by Minto, it's back to the line. Played ahead and Graham intercepts, in across the line. He tried to leave it for Mitch Wright. So the scoring play is number 10, Kevin Tremble, 
he gets uh, the goal from Andrew Boyle and number 23, Jack Francis on the assist. So that ties us here at one. And we're gonna have a discussion here. So maybe the whereabouts of this faceoff. They're gonna say it's gonna come to the right-hand side of Nelson. 5.22 to play. We're all even strength and we're all even on the scoreboard, 1-1. One, one. Jake Brown on the faceoff. It's controlled by Minto though and they'll get it out and it'll come all the way down. Ouellette forced to stop it. Hartwick in there on the four check. It's gonna come all the way around, it's gonna go out. Across the line. It's played across. 21, Mitch Wright tried to put it to the center. Oh, wow! Drew Schantz just took a wicked high stick. And uh, there might be two penalties here. So Drew Schantz is in the box. And uh, Jake Brown is also in the box. I believe both of them are gonna be for high sticking. So coincidental minors here. And uh, we'll play five on five. There's 5.01 left to go here in period one. Minto 81's in the Durham Thundercats tied at one. Justin Graham in on the draw. He's out there with Riley O'Connell and Trevor Houston. Matheson and Kyler Nixon also out there for Durham. O'Connell sends it in deep, but Jamison Buck comes out with the first. O'Connell's gonna get it back. He's got it on the sideboards, plays it across, and Houston has it first. Hit on Nelson! Oh, where is it? They score! And that one evades Nelson. That's a dirty one, but it counts. And Durham, at even strength, takes the two to one lead. Cue the Hall and Oates. So with 4.49 to play, Durham has struck again, and uh, they take a 2-1 lead. It's their first lead of the hockey game. Trevor Houston gets the goal, number 16. So Trevor Houston gets the goal. It's from Kyler Nixon. He gets the lone assist. And uh, 81's control it. Nice shot on the line, it's loose. Oh, big hit. And the puck comes all the way out. Jamison Buck, huge hit in behind the net after that chance. Graham sends it to Mike Pleon. He's in behind his net, he'll start away. He'll put it over to Pfeffer. Pfeffer back to Pleon. Pleon sends it ahead. It's tipped by Kowalik and it's in across the line. Kowalik's gonna come up with it. Leaves it for Pfeffer. It's intercepted by Durham. O'Connell leaves it. Trevor Houston in across the line. Goes to the backhand. Back to, he was looking for O'Connell. It was intercepted by Graham. And now we have a two on one for Minto. Kowalik. Oh, he tried to put it over to Pfeffer. Nice defensive play. Dean Nixon got back in nice defensive play. Hardy, oh, he tried to keep it in at the blue line, but it was deflected away by Durham. It's back in the Minto zone. 3.30 to play here in period one. Dean Nixon talking to the official as Minto comes in across the line. That's all the way out. And uh, faceoff will come up in the Durham zone. That was really strange. I've never seen anything like that. The play is coming into the zone, into the Durham zone, and Dean Nixon's not even paying attention to the play and more paying attention to the official as he's trying to explain to him something. And uh, that's a new one. But either way, faceoff's gonna come up here in the Durham zone. We have 3.23 to play. Durham leads two to one. Cote on this draw, he'll win it back. Mike Pleon at the line, shot! That goes wide of the blocker hand. Gonna come across Oosterveld, sends it all the way around. Ratchford has it now for Durham. He'll send it back to Oosterveld. He gets, he gets tied up with the linesman there and he can't get control. 
Gonna come ahead, it's tipped in. It's gonna go all the way down the ice. Back forward is Ratchford. Plays it away, he'll get it again. And across the line, Ratchford sends it to 20, uh, Jack Francis. It's in the skate of Francis now. He takes a body check from Jake Pleon. Cote, he'll skate it away. He had that intercepted and Francis is on it again. Has it along the sideboards. Comes to the middle, Buck will play it up to Jake Pleon. It's tipped away. It's kept in only for a moment, but Minto gets it out. Ratchford gets tied up there with Cote and it's in across the Durham line. Francis has it for Durham and across the Minto line. Or sorry, 13, Andrew Boyle. Sends it to Harrison who picks it off. He'll come across the line and just throw it over to the open wing. Kyler Nixon has it for Durham. He'll send it ahead and across the line. Kevin Tremble back to Ostervelt. Shot, oh, that just missed on the glove hand of Nelson. That didn't miss by much. And the faceoff's gonna come back out. I think Nelson got a uh, piece of that. And the faceoff's gonna remain in the mental line or in the mental end. There's 2.03 to play here in period number one. Durham leads two to one. Hartwick in to take the draw against Wright. Wright wins the draw back to Kyler Nixon. Nixon throws it around the Minto net and now over to get it is Wright. Comes all the way back and into the Durham zone. Kyler Nixon has it for Durham. He skates in front of Ouellette, he still has it. He'll play it over. Derek Matheson throws it ahead. It's tipped, comes all the way to the Minto blue line and they'll play it back ahead. Brendan Aiken on the sideboards. He couldn't get it in deep. It's a pinned along the sideboards. Lots of bodies down there. And Hardy gets into it. Dylan Hoffman out there with Aiken and uh, Colin Hartwick. And uh, we have some discussions after the draw here. And uh, faceoff's gonna come just outside the Minto zone. 133 to play here in period one. Durham leads two to one. Pfeffer out there with Graham and Kowalik. O'Connell out there with Graham and Trevor Houston. Puck is controlled by Minto in their own end. This is Kyle Ellis. They'll play it ahead to Kowalik in across the Durham line. He plays it in. Uh, Pfeffer couldn't come up with it. And now here comes Durham with it. Ratchford plays it across. O'Connell tried to send it in on Nelson, but it was deflected away. Ratchford in there deep. He comes up with it over to O'Connell, back in behind the net. Houston. Body checked by Ellis, but he plays it back, and Graham intercepts. Last minute of play here in period one. Durham leading two to one. Pfeffer plays it ahead. Graham has it. He'll skate it ahead. Nice move. Now he'll put it up to Kowalik in across the Durham line. Kowalik. To the middle. Oh, he tried to find Pfeffer, but it was out of his reach. It's in deep now. Pfeffer plays it back to Graham at the blue line. His shot, that's blocked away. Graham has it again. He'll pin it along the boards. Comes in across the line. Kowalik had to go off his skate. And he couldn't control it, and now it's gonna come ahead. O'Connell in across the line. His shot, that was tipped wide. 24 seconds to go here in the period. Kowalik has it come ahead to him as Pfeffer plays it over to Graham. Graham in across the Durham line. Try and get one last rush in. Pfeffer has it on the sideboards. 11 seconds left to go in the period. He has it again. It's all the way out and into the neutral zone. Mike Cleon, cross, Drew Schantz. That will do it for period number one. Durham is gonna take a 2-1 lead into period number two. Shots on the period. 17 to eight in favor of Minto, and uh, they lead it, Durham leads it two to one. We'll be back for the start of the second period after this, stick around.
Welcome back, everybody, for the start of the second period. Minto 81s and the Durham Thundercats. Minto, uh, Durham leading 2-1 to one as we play here in the second from Durham, Ontario, Canada. Durham in the white uniforms, Minto in the red. And across the line is Justin Graham. Apparently both Justin Grahams on the team are not brothers. I was informed of this at the intermission, and I do apologize for referring to them as such this entire time. But they are tied for the lead, uh, for the team leading scoring, 23 points apiece. That is impressive. That two guys of the same name have the same amount of points. Be equally impressive if they both had the same amount of goals and assists. But they do not. They're close, close. Face off coming up here just outside the the uh, mental line. Scoring in the first period was Zach Graham for Minto. Scoring for Durham was number uh, 10. Number 10, Kevin Tremble. And number 16, Trevor Houston. Puck is to the Durham line, but it's kept in. It'll be taken out. Riley O'Connell has a chance. Oh, that was nicely deflected away by Jamison Buck before O'Connell could get the shot off. Comes across, it'll come out, and this is gonna be Jake Leon. He couldn't get it in deep, but Buck sends it into the Durham zone. Trevor Houston will send it back. Early on here in period at number two. Puck is sent ahead, Trevor Houston. He has the second Durham goal. He comes to the middle. That was a dangerous opportunity, but nicely defended away by Durham. That's to the net and tipped it just wide of Ben Nelson. Puck is sent to the net. Mike Pleon does a nice job, and Harrison, is gonna get whistled down, and they're gonna say interference. And Minto is gonna go to the box here. So 18.32 to play, and Tyler Harrison will sit for interference. Durham has the puck in the Minto zone as they try and set up on this power play. Denver Hill tried to do a nice job on the penalty kill. Gets away from him, comes to the point. Kyler Nixon plays it across. This is Jake Brown with it, number 19. He'll put it in deep. Mitch Wright sends it back to Brown. His shot was deflected in front. It's still controlled and it's all the way out. It's gonna go all the way down the ice. Roulette, we'll leave it there. Nixon, 124 to play. He'll send it ahead. In the 124 in the power play, or 118 now. Puck is controlled, only briefly, however, by Minto, but Durham has it now. They're in there, oh, that was a dangerous opportunity, but it goes over the stick, and it comes all the way back into the Durham end. Kyler Nixon has it now. One minute to go in the Durham power play. Pfeffer and Kowalik out there on this penalty kill. In across the line, here's a chance. Oh, that just went wide on the glove hand. It's gonna come all the way out. Kowalik will give chase. It's intercepted there, and Pfeffer has it at the blue line. He'll put it ahead to Kowalik. Kowalik is gonna go in after it. He almost had it come to him, but now Durham controls in their own end. This is Derek Matheson, who wears 27 for Durham. 30 seconds remaining in the power play. It comes ahead, Tremble, across, shot just wide. Oh, that was a great pass by Kevin Tremble and it just went wide on the glove side. And now, here comes Durham, Adam Kowalik against Ratchford. Oh, nice play from Ratchford as he blocked that pass across. Here he comes, number five, Todd Ratchford in across the line. He's still got it in the corner. He'll play it around. It'll come in behind the net, it'll go all the way to the line, Riley O'Connell. At the line, shot, that was blocked by Cote, and it's gonna come all the way out. Across comes Harrison, he's gonna get it first. And across the line, shot scores! What a pass from Tyler Harrison across to Adam Kowalik, and he makes no mistake. And we are tied at two. Wow, what a play from Tyler Harrison. Minto responds, they get a huge one to start here in the second period. Kowalik with the goal that puts us even, two goals apiece. 
16-22 to play. Harrison will draw one assist at least. We'll wait to see if there's a second. Face off here, center ice. 2-2 is the score. Ahead is Hartwick. Francois Cote, give him the second assist. So Harrison and Cote on the assist from the Kowalik goal. That shot's in on, from Hartwick, in on Ouellette, and he makes the save, and he'll hang on. Minto, big goal here in the second period, and we are tied at two. Face off coming up here. It's gonna to be to the right-hand side of Ouellette. In come Oosterveld to take the draw. Aiken goes ahead with it and will go after it. Aneta in on the boards with Oosterveld. They try and come away with it and they do. Comes all the way around. Ellis will pinch. He comes up with the puck on the boards. He tried to put it in front. It's still in a mixture of bodies there. Denver Hill will go after it. It's gonna come up the boards. It's gonna be put away to the middle. Francis had to go off of him and then he lost the puck. Aiken sends it ahead. Here comes Hartwick, his shot. That goes weakly in on Ouellette and he makes the save. That was dangerous. In across the line come Minto. And uh, they were almost able to get a nice shot across, but it rolled in weakly on Ouellette and he was able to smother it. 15.33 to play here in period number two. We are all even, two apiece. Tyler Harrison wins it ahead and he goes after it. Takes the spill, but he looks to be okay. Jake Brown tips that ahead and it's gonna come all the way down. Shane Ross forced to come back. Justin Graham on him, number eight. They'll play it ahead, this is Francois Cote. Cote brings it across center ice, oh! He was looking for Harrison, but it hit Hardy in the skates. Back to Shane Ross, he'll play it on the boards. Cote on the backhand, plays it across the open side, Hardy. He'll just tip it all the way ahead and it's into the Durham zone. Cote knocks it down, but he goes down. Durham will bring it across center ice now. In across the line. Brown, number 19, set, leaves it there for right, but he lost the puck. Now, Durham has numbers the other way. Tyler Harrison across the blue line. Oh, it's offside. Cote was in just a hair in front of Harrison. And uh, that goes in on the offside. Faceoff's gonna come up just outside the uh, Durham blue line. Two two is the score. We have 14:45 to play here in period number two. Discussion being had right now between the referee and goaltender Ben Nelson of Minto. So Ben Nelson has to go off here. I don't know exactly what this is about. It could be equipment related, but Ben Nelson forced to come off here. Yeah, it's an equipment issue. And uh, the referee decided that they needed to make a goalie change so that they could keep playing here. Mark Williams comes in off the Minto bench to relieve Nelson. We'll monitor that situation. Graham wins the drawback. Jake, uh, Jamison Buck sends it in. Minto will give chase. Pepper does a nice job along the boards to Zach Graham. It's gonna be Durham sending it all the way out and Buck will just play it there and send it all the way back in to the Durham end. Played in behind the net by Kyler Nixon. He controls. We have 14.20 to play here in period two. We are tied at two. Puck comes ahead. Trevor Houston has it now in the Minto zone. He'll play it in deep for Justin Graham. Number 22, throws it across. O'Connell had it stripped and it's gonna come to the line and kept in. Nixon plays it down low to O'Connell. He sends it back to Matheson. 
Back to O'Connell down low. He puts it to Graham. Oh, that was that was fanned on. Graham didn't get all of it. And it rolled in weakly on Williams, and he holds on for the faceoff. Graham would have liked to have gotten more on that shot, but he fanned on it, and it rolled in weakly on Williams. Face off here to the left of Williams. He's in because of an equipment issue to Ben Nelson. Ellis trying to get the puck. O'Connell plays it all the way around. It's gonna come to the line, it's kept in. Nice job by Eric Canetta to keep it in. Dean Nixon has it now. He'll send it in, oh, Denver Hill. Does a nice job to take it away. Now here comes Minto. Dylan Hoffman sends it in. He's going to go after it. He puts the body in on Anetta. Going to come all the way out into the neutral zone. Nice hit by Hartwick on Trevor Houston. Here comes Minto now. Tyler Harrison. He'll shoot. Oh, Hartwick was loading up in the slot, but Harrison opted to shoot instead. And uh, we're going to get a face off. Face-off coming up here in the Durham end. The shot by Harrison went off a stick and out. So face-off's gonna come up here to the right-hand side of Matthew Ouellette, the Durham goalie. Puck is one ahead. Minto will go after it. It's in behind the Durham net and it's in around the boards. To the line, kept in. Cote shot scores! What a shot, Francois Cote, top corner glove side, and it gives the 81s the lead three to two. What a shot. Minto has restored the one goal lead. Francois Cote gets the goal, giving assist to Tyler Harrison, nice job. And that puts the 81s ahead three to two. 13.03 to play. Face off in the skates. Chris Hardy will get it. He'll send it all the way in. Jake Pleon with the secondary assist on the uh, Francois Cote goal that gives the 81s the 3 2 lead. It's in behind the Minto net. Williams is still in there. The puck comes all the way to the line, and Jake Pleon has it again. Three on two. In across the line. Harrison. Oh, he tried to find Pleon but it was intercepted there. Now Durham has it and they'll come away. Across the Minto blue line. It's across, Oosterveld shot, that went wide. It's in behind the net of Williams. Ratchford plays it in deep. Number 13, Andrew Boyle has it now. Boyle's pinned in on the boards by Jake Pleon. He's joined there by Hardy, comes in front. And it's gonna be controlled by Harrison, it'll send it away. Nice pass away to Zach Graham. Graham in. Oh, he almost got the puck. It's still battled in front there. Nice defensive play from Justin Abraham against Zach Graham. Puck comes across. Ratchford, oh, he almost gave that puck away. Boyle has it now, number 13 of Durham. He'll play it back, it's dangerous. But now here comes Durham across the red line. It's into the Minto zone. Sean Williams, nice save. And it'll hang on. That shot was put in by Abraham. Nice save by Williams. And he did a nice job in relief of Ben Nelson and his equipment issue. And back comes Nelson into the hockey game. Real nice effort from Mark Williams in emergency situation. Nelson's back in now and we'll play on here. 11.33 to play in period two. Minto leads three to two. Here comes Kowalik, in across the Durham line, leaves it for Pfeffer, nice pass save, oh! That rebound was dangerous, but it was out of harm's way. Mike Pleon plays it ahead, it's in the neutral zone. Pfeffer has it, he'll bring it in across the line. Over to Graham, it was off his stick, and well, now here comes Durham the other way. In across the line, chance on Nelson, oh, what a stop! Mitch Wright has it now for Durham, puts it in around the net. Jake Brown shot, blocker save, rebound, Nelson stop. Graham has to pick up his stick, but he's got it again. Durham controls. 
Jake, uh, uh, Justin Graham had it go away. Oh, it's a breakaway. Come on, get across the line. Shot, scores! Adam Kowalik on the breakaway, splits the defenseman and goes to the backhand and scores. And that makes it 4-2 for Minto. They have struck three times here in the second period and take a two goal lead. Let's go, so for Kowalik, it'll be his second of the hockey game. And that stakes the 81s to a two goal lead. Nice play by Kowalik. He had great speed splitting the defenseman, going to the backhand, and it just squeezes past Ouellette. So give the assist on the play to Mike Pleon and Zach Graham. There's a shot that went wide to Nelson's blocker. It's going to be played out and into the neutral zone. Dean Nixon across to Eric Anetta. Anetta sends it in. In to get it first. And it's still, oh, what a shot. Nice save by Nelson. Wow, he had to be sharp on that deflection. Oh, man, that puck came in fast on Nelson. And he had to be very, very alert for that save. Trevor Houston put it in front to Graham. And he sent it in on Nelson. But Nelson was in with the amazing save to keep this a two-goal game for Minto. Puck is in around Nelson in behind the net. Shantz. Plays it ahead, he was looking for Jake Pleon. Now he's got it again. Harrison skates it over his blue line, he'll bring it in across the line, he'll send it in deep. Cote will go in after it. He's taken into the boards there by Abraham. Now it's gonna come to Ratchford, he's gonna skate it out. Ratchford sends it across. Oh, that was out of the reach of Houston. Now it's across the line, Pleon! Oh, he couldn't get there, where is it? Oh, that was dangerous as Ratchford gloved it down. Went just wide of the Durham net. Ellis is gonna get it now. He's in his own end. Ellis, he's got lots of time. He's uh, forechecked there by Riley O'Connell. O'Connell, former Minto 81, now current Durham Thundercat. Ellis skates it ahead, puts it over. Denver Hill sends it in and takes a body check from Trevor Houston. In behind the net, Abraham sends it around. Puck is sent away by O'Connell, but Hartwick intercepts, he'll send it back in. They'll just send Durham right back. Ratchford on the boards with Hartwick. It's gonna come out, it's gonna come all the way to the line. It's in across the line, Graham! Stop by Nelson, big save! Denver Hill plays it to Hartwick, but Ratchford intercepts. Ratchford in across the line, he's still got it. Shaw, nice save, Nelson! Hell, Denver Hill plays it into the neutral zone. It's going to come all the way in. Matheson tipped it, so no icing. 8.33 to play here in period two. That puck comes all the way ahead. In comes Andrew Boyle. Boyle bodied in there on the boards. Graham plays it across to Ross. Ross has got it now for Minto. He'll send it to Hartwick. It goes off his skate. Matheson has it now in the Durham end. Sends it over to Kyler Nixon. Nixon brings it ahead and he'll send it in. Hardy does a nice job and Hartwick will now play it across center ice. He'll send it in and go off for a change. Mental leading four to two. We have eight minutes to go here in period two. Hardy from the point, his shot right in on Ouled and he stops it and holds on. Face off coming up here to the left of Ouellette. Face off here, 7.55 to play. You're in period number two. 81's leading four to two. Graham out there with Pepper and Kowalik. They win the draw, Jamison Buck sends it in. Pepper tried to get there first, but he couldn't and Jake Brown tipped it. And now here comes Durham. They have numbers. Gra uh, Mitch Wright, over to Graham, oh, wow! And down goes uh, Graham as he was defended by Kowalik and he sprawled right into Nelson and the net's off in behind him and it'll be whistled down. Faceoff's gonna come up here in the Durham end. 
7.41 to play here in period two. Minto leading four to two. They've scored three times here in the second period. Puck is won back by Minto. It's gonna come to Adam Kowalik. Kowalik in the corner, looked across and he gets Pfeffer. Pfeffer ahead, finds Zach Graham. He's got speed, hit across the line. Oh, he was looking for Buck on the back door but it went out of his reach. Kyler Nixon, cross. It's all the way into the Minto zone. Jake Brown after it against Mike Pleon. Graham, it's still in the bodies down low. Mike Pleon tried to get it away and Mitch Wright has it now. He'll shoot, nice save Nelson. Sent ahead on the sideboards, Durham will control. Here's a shot from the line, that's blocked. Kyler Nixon tried to get it through. He's gonna try it again, there's a shot. Glove save Nelson. And he hangs on for the faceoff. And we're gonna get a penalty to the Durham, or Mitzo 81s. And Durham's gonna go to the power play here. So with 6.55 to play, Jamison Buck is gonna sit for holding and Durham's gonna go to the power play. Buck will sit for two minutes or less. Back to the line, Ratchford across, it's in deep. Durham's got it, nice defensive play from Drew Schantz on this penalty kill. Back to O'Connell, he sends it over to Ratchford, back to O'Connell, he shoots Nelson safe, rebound! It's still loose. In behind the net, Trevor Houston tried to play it to the line but it was intercepted. Back to the line now, O'Connell keeps it in. Houston plays it around. It's gonna come out and down the ice. Nice penalty kill from Minto as Ratchford is back in his own end. There's 123 remaining in the Durham power play. They trail four to two. Puck is sent ahead and that's out of the reach and it's gonna be an icing call. They were looking, they were looking for Jake Brown at the Minto blue line and they're gonna say he touched it. Faceoff's gonna be at center ice. So they're gonna nullify that icing and they're gonna do the faceoff at center. 6.08 to go, period two. One thirteen to go in the Durham power play. Minto leads, four to two. It's ahead. Aiken tried to get a hold of it and now he's gotta go after it. Over to Denver Hill and he'll send it all the way down. Six minutes to go here in period two. And a minute left to go in the Durham power play. Graham sends it across. They come in across the line. Here's a Mitch Wright. Leaves it for Graham. Oh, he just missed on the blocker side. Gonna come all the way to the line. Here's Jake Brown across. Kyler Nixon. Nixon across. Here's a shot. Oh, that just went off of the glove hand. Rebound. Nelson's got it. Oh, no, hold on. And now we got a huge pile up. And this is gonna result in some penalties. Nelson doing the wise thing and getting out of there. Everybody else was tied up. And uh, not sure if any penalties are gonna come of this or not. A lot of bodies though in front of Nelson. Five thirty-two to go here in period two. Thirty-seven seconds left in the penalty to Jamison Buck. Faceoff's gonna be in the Minto zone to the left-hand side of Nelson. Ready to go here. Graham and Kowalik out there on this penalty kill. Kyler Nixon at the point. He'll send it across. Durham sets up on this power play. 30 seconds left. It's sent in by Graham. To the middle! Oh, they were looking for Houston, but it failed to connect. And here comes Adam Kowalik. Two on two across the Durham line. There's a shot! Oh! That almost beat... Uh, that almost beat Ouellette on the blocker side, but he made a nice save, and he sent it up into the over the glass in behind him and out of play. What a chance, Kowalik with a wicked shot and it almost evaded Ouellette. 18 seconds to go in the Durham power play. 5.13 to play in period two. Puck is won by Durham. 
They'll try and get one last rush on this power play. Puck is skated ahead. Graham gets it on the sideboards. They'll send it in. They'll go after it. O'Connell in after Drew Schantz. Schantz doing a nice job, but he has it stripped away. Houston back to uh, O'Connell. The penalty is over. It comes to the middle. And now Pfeffer has rejoined the play, and he's on the ice. And across the Durham line. He'll play it on the outside. He'll stop up. He tried to put it ahead to Ellis, but it was out of his reach. Trevor Houston has it, number 16 to Durham. Brings it in across the Minto blue line. He tried to get a shot, but he was unable to, and he just sent it around. All the way to the line, Matheson over to Nixon, or Ratchford. Ratchford, number five, he's got it. Shot! That took a, a deflection off a number of bodies. Here comes Graham with it now. He's across center. Oh, he was looking for Kowalik, but it was out of his reach. Now, O'Connell had that stripped away, and here comes Pepper. Leaves it for Graham. Graham? Over, oh, he was looking for Kowalik, but it was intercepted. Nice play from Ratchford. Over to Boyle. Boyle sends it in deep. And Jamison Buck comes up with it. He'll send it around. Oh, that's kept in at the point. Here's a shot on Nelson. Nice save. O'Connell in after it. Back in behind the net to Boyle. Boyle. Still has it there. He's pinned along the boards. It comes to the middle. Oh, and that just went over the blocker hand of Nelson. Boyle has it again, looking to the middle. Tremble shot, glove save Nelson, it'll hold on. Nice play by Nelson, nice awareness to find that puck and smother it, and he holds it before any damage is done. 3.36 to play here in period two. Minto leading four to two. They've scored three times in the second period. Two by Adam Kowalik, one by Francois Cote. Puck is to the line, it's kept in, Abraham, shot! That just missed on the glove side. Forded in along the wall, Durham still has it, but now it's picked up by Minto and it's gonna come to Colin Hartwick. Hartwick in across the line, he's got speed! Oh, he tried to backhand that on Ouellette and it went wide. Gonna come across, in across the line is Durham. Oh, it's sent to the middle, but it was picked up, picked off nicely by Brendan Aiken on the defense. Kyler Nixon has it in his own end now. We're approaching three minutes to go here in period two. 81's continuing to lead, four to two. And behind the net, Mike Pleon sends it all the way around. It's gonna come out where Abraham has it, number 12. He's got it, and he'll send it in, and he'll go after it in the Minto zone. He's gonna body in Jamison Buck in behind the net. Buck is still loose. Buck and, and Abraham have it again. Gonna come loose, and Durham has it. No, here's a shot. That went wide on the blocker side. Mitch Wright with the shot. Sent in, in behind the net. Durham still got it as they look to apply pressure here. Graham going after it in behind the net. Mike Pleon on the backhand, sends it all the way out. And it's, the goalie comes out to play it. Minto gets a wholesale change. 2.18 to go in period two. That puck is sent ahead. Oh, it was looking for, uh, it was looking for Jake Brown, but it went over his stick. It's gonna come all the way out, Jake Pleon has it. He comes in across the Durham line. His shot, that went off a stick. It's loose, Harrison, oh, he almost scored. He couldn't get all of that. That was very dangerous. Harrison has it again. Tried to put it to the point to Hardy, but it was intercepted. 1.51 to go. Harrison picks it off again. Looks for a body in front, there's a pass, oh. That went off the stick of Cote and wide. Pleon to Cote, down low to Harrison. Harrison's got it. 137 to play in the second period. There's a shot that's blocked. And away they come. Here comes Riley O'Connell in across the line. His shot blocked by Shane Ross. Nice block. Comes all the way around. Trevor Houston has it now. It leaves it for O'Connell. O'Connell bodied by Ross. Puck is loose and it come out to Harrison and he tips it into the neutral zone. We have 112 remaining. It's intercepted, here's Jake Pleon in across the line. Backhand off the side of the net. O'Connell plays it across. It came to Houston, but he wasn't able to come up with it. Now Justin Graham has it. We're in the final minute of the second period. Graham goes in after it. He takes a body check from Hardy and he sends him down. Hardy is gonna take a penalty now. And they gotta get, that's not gonna end well for Chris Hardy. Hardy's gonna take a penalty. 
He was bodied in. And they're going to give him two. So with 46 seconds left, Chris Hardy is going to sit for four minutes for cross-checking. So Hardy got the elbow up uh, into his face, into the corner. Didn't like that. Got back up, gave a nice, a couple of healthy cross checks to a couple Durham players, and he's gonna sit for four minutes or less. 46 seconds remain in the period. Durham to the power play. Five on four for four minutes. It's intercepted there, but now Durham still has it. It's back to the line. Nixon across. Graham in deep. He's got it again, Graham. Shot, nice save, Nelson, and they clear it all the way down. Good play defensively by Wade Pfeffer to get that all the way down the ice. Nixon starts in his own end. 20 seconds to go in the period. It's ahead to Graham. Graham across the line is dumped by Ellis. Drew Schantz will pick it up around the boards. It's gonna come to the middle and Graham almost got it away, but it's still controlled in the, in the middle zone. It's in deep, there's a shot, oh! That just went wider than that of Nelson. Two seconds, one, and that's gonna do it. The period ends mercilessly for the Minto 81s. There's 3.14 left in the Durham power play. Shots, shots in the second period, 18 to five in favor of Durham. And uh, like I said, Durham has 3.14 left in the power play. They trail 4-2 to the Minto 81s as we head to period number three. I'll be back for the call of that after this, stick around. Welcome back everyone. It's the beginning of the third period here in Durham. Thundercats and the Minto 81s, WOA Senior AA Men's Hockey. We start the third period with the Durham Thundercats on a power play for another 3.05. Chris Hardy in the box for Minto serving a double minor for cross checking. They're gonna call this down. It was whistled down. Referee had his hand in the air. That was unusual. Normally, the linesmen call the uh, 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 the icings or off, uh, call the offsides and stuff. But either way, face off here just outside the Minto zone. It's one back. Kyler Nixon has it now. He'll send it ahead. And across the line is Justin Graham. Graham plays it around. It's going to come all the way to the line. Jake Brown tried to keep it in, and here comes Adam Kowalik with it on the shorthanded rush. His shot, oh, he just missed on the glove on the blocker side of Ouellette. Kyler Nixon has it now. There's 2.33 to go here in the Mint, uh, Durham power play. Puck is across, Justin Graham brings it in, number eight. He gets boarded in there from behind uh, by Jamison Buck. Puck comes in the middle, and Mike Pleon will just put it ahead to Zach Graham. Graham in across the line. He'll look to kill some time. He'll send it in deep. He'll still control it now in behind the Durham end. He brings it all the way back and he'll send it away and Justin Graham intercepts. Plays it across, Derek Matheson. In across the line, he'll set it up there. It's given away to Ellis and he'll send it all the way into the neutral zone. 157 to go in the Durham power play. O'Connell, or excuse me, Ratchford. He'll bring it ahead, he'll send it in. 
In around the boards. Matheson keeps it in. Shantz tries to get it away. It's going to come all the way to the line. Ratchford keeps it in. He'll send it across. O'Connell back to Ratchford. His shot. That's played in front by Minto. Nice job. Going to come to the line. Ratchford keeps it in. 127 to go. It's in front. Oh! And down goes Drew Shantz. Nice defensive play by Shantz on the penalty kill. Cote forces the Durham Thundercats back into their own end. Gonna come ahead. O'Connell plays it ahead. It's gonna go into the Durham line. Ross gloves it down. Harrison picks it up. He'll send it all the way down the ice. One minute to go in the Hardy penalty. 4-2 Minto is the score. Trevor Houston in behind his own net. 50 seconds left in the Durham power play. Here comes Jake Brown. Brown in the middle, Graham! Oh, just wide on the blocker side. It's in behind the net now. Durham still has it, it's to the line. Kyler Nixon keeps it in, puts it across. Here's a shot, close save, Nelson! It'll hang on. What a stop by Ben Nelson. 30 seconds to go in the Durham power play. Face off coming up here to Nelson's left, or Nelson's right. Out comes Drew Shantz for this defensive zone faceoff for Minto. Buck forced to go off of a skate issue. Comes to the line, it's kept in. Abraham out there with Kyler Nixon. 24 seconds to go. Nixon over to Graham, down low. Here's a backhand, it goes wide to the blocker side. Abraham back to Nixon, down to Abraham again. His shot on Nelson, nice save. Brown in behind the net. Number 19 of Durham, he's got it. Five seconds left in the Durham power play. Comes across to Nixon. Nixon to the middle. We're all even now. It's still in the, in the Minto zone. Nixon to the net. If that goes wide of the glove hand, and Minto will pick it up and bring it into center ice. Zach Graham across. Gets the puck taken away, but he's going to get it back. Denver Hill in across the line. He had it taken away. Going to come across. Kyler Nixon cross center into the Minto zone against Kyle Ellis. He's forced to put it in deep. It's along the sideboards and it's gonna come to the line. Here's a shot! Oh, that almost went into Denver Hill's face. But it comes all the way out into the neutral zone. Hardwick puts a body check on Ratchford. He'll get it back. It'll come back and Ross misses it and it's deep in the Minto zone. Ross sends it back. Ellis gets it away. He's still got it. Across, Aiken picks it up cleanly. It'll come into the, Dem into the Durham zone. Leaves it for Hardwick, who takes a big body check. Gonna come to the line, it's kept in. Hardwick takes the slash on the hands and he'll go off. Aiken had it go away from him, it's gonna come back. Durham comes ahead, it's through the neutral zone, it's picked up by Kowalik. Kowalik's got it, some fancy footwork, but he can't get it in and get a quality chance across. Gonna come ahead, nice play by Hardy to pick that off. Sends it back to Mike Pleon, puts it ahead. Cote to Kowalik. Kowalik, he stops up there. It's to Cote. Cote puts it towards the net, but it goes off the stick and over the net. Pfeffer over to Kowalik. Kowalik on the sideboards. He's got it there. 15 minutes to go here in period three. Minto leading, four to two. Comes to the side of the net. Kowalik picks it up again. He's got two goals. He'll play it in deep. Cote has it. Leon in front of the net trying to go for the pass. Pfeffer gets bodied in by Graham. Comes around and Cardi misses it and it's gonna go all the way down the ice. Ben Nelson out to play it, no icing. We're down to one linesman, I've just noticed that. So that's why the referee is calling these icings and offsides. That's gonna go all the way down. That's gonna be uh, picked up by Derek Matheson in behind his own net. 14.30 to play here in period three. Minto leading four to two. Gonna come to the line, it's kept in. Pfeffer has it. Try to put it across. Kowalik goes in after it. Ustaveld 
Puts it all the way around. It's going to come to Kevin Tremble. Tremble ahead. Andrew Boyle, number 13, and across. Oh, he's met there at the line by Drew Schantz. Nice play. Boyle has it, or yeah, Boyle has it again. Sends it back to Nixon, who's going to put it in behind his own net. 14 minutes left to go. Period three. Minto leading the Durham Thundercats, four to two. Going to come ahead. Matheson in across the Minto line. His shot. Nice stop by Nelson, and he'll hang on. Thirteen fifty to go here in period number three. Minto leading four to two. Cote out there with Jake Pleon and Tyler Harrison. This has been a very sharp line for Minto tonight. Comes ahead. Harrison has it. He'll play it into the neutral zone and they'll go after it. It's deep into the Durham end. Aneta is boarded in there, but Durham has it and they'll bring it ahead. Jake Brown, he just tips it into the neutral zone and Tyler Harrison's going to come back to get it. Harrison puts it around to Kyle Ellis. Ellis had that stripped off of him. They still got it, but it's in now. Tyler Harrison's got it, and he's got to come back. Sent to the line and out, and all the way into the Durham end. Aneta played it back. Abraham puts it ahead. Durham's going to come across the line. Mitch Wright in across. He's got the puck. Puts it towards the net. Graham couldn't come up with it cleanly. And it's going to go to Nelson. He's going to hold on for a faceoff. 13.03 to play. Here in period number three, Minto leading four to two. Face off here, and it's going to come to the right hand side of Ben Nelson. We're finally ready to drop the puck. Puck is won back by Minto. Durham controls. Oh, they almost had a glorious chance in front. Trevor Houston had to go over his stick. He's got it again now. He'll send it in deep. Justin Graham out there with O'Connell in Houston. Graham's got it. Sends it in deep. Matheson back to Graham. Graham. Shot, oh, that just went wide of the, the blocker hand. Gonna be played in deep. O'Connell, number nine, Durham. Puts it down low. Graham's gonna get to it, but he's gonna play it ahead. Hoffman sends it all the way into the rafters above everyone. And that's gonna be whistled down. So the faceoff's gonna come back in the Minto zone to the right of Nelson. Minto continues to lead, four to two. You know they say that the most dangerous lead in a hockey game is a two goal lead, When we'll see if that holds true here. Ellis plays it in behind his net, he's got the puck. Plays it around, he'll come ahead. Cross center, in across the Durham line. He's still got it now. Ahead, oh, the collision in front of the net put Kowalik down, and now here comes Durham. In across the line, Graham, across. Houston had to go off his stick and into the air. Ellis and Houston come together. And now, it's gonna come back up the ice and Kowalik's got it across the Durham end. Leaves it for Graham, to Kowalik! Shot, nice save, rebound, it's loose! Kowalik was looking for the hat trick, but he was stymied by Ouellette. Ellis, at the line, plays it across to Drew Schantz. Schantz plays it in off the boards. Abraham puts it up, Schantz keeps it in. His shot from the line, pad saved by Ouellette and it'll deflect it into the netting. Out of play. Ellis and Trevor Houston continue to have words. But everything looks to be okay there. We have 11.43 to play here in period three. Minto leading four to two. Cote with Pleon and Tyler Harrison, Shane Ross and Chris Hardy. Puck is around the side. Kevin Tremble puts it ahead. Ross does a nice job to intercept. Aneta played it ahead. Here comes Ratchford in across the line. He's got time to shot. 
That's blocker away. Nice stick by Shane Ross. He deflects it into the netting in behind Nelson. That's going to force the stoppage and another face off in the Minto zone. 11.27 to play here in period three. 4 2 Durham. Or excuse me, 4 2 Minto. Sent ahead. And behind the net. It sends the front. Oh, what a stop by Nelson. And Boyle sends Mike Pleon on top of Nelson. Wow, what a stop from Ben Nelson. Andrew Boyle was left all alone in front, and he got a wicked shot across, but it was stopped by Nelson. What a save. Little miscommunication by the 81s in behind their own net. And it come out to and stop by Nelson. Face off one back by Durham. There's a shot, they score! <laughs> Matheson with the shot from the point. It takes a deflection and it goes in past Nelson. And we got a one goal game here in Durham. Q Hall and Oates. So with 11.17 to play, Durham has brought it to within one. They trail 4-3. So Matheson with the shot from the point, it took a deflection. Not sure if it was off of a Minto body or a Durham body, but we'll find out when we get the official word. Justin Graham gets the goal. Matheson on the assist. And 21, Mitch Wright. So the scoring play is Graham, number eight, from Matheson and Mitch Wright. And that's the scoring play that makes it 4-3 for the 81s. Face off coming up here. We have 11.02 left here in the third period. Minto leading now 4-3. Right and Graham on the draw. Pfeffer comes ahead with it. He tried to get around Abraham, but was unable to do so. It comes over to the stick of Kowalik and it across the line. Graham tried to get in deep. He's got it again. He'll send it around to the net, but it's off the side. It's gonna come all the way out and into the neutral zone. Abraham, number 12, sends it back. It's gonna be sent ahead. Graham has it, nice move. Gonna send it ahead. Oh, it's intercepted though by Zach Graham and he'll come in across the line. Graham, body going. There's a shot. Oh, what a stop by Ouellette. Desperation save with the glove hand. Wow, what a stop. That was really impressive. Kowalik almost had the hat trick. Here's Graham with it across center ice and into the Durham end. He's in deep with it. Tried to send it to the middle, but there was nobody there. Heffer played it to Ross. He puts it in deep. Ross gets bodied down by Trevor Houston. It's in behind the net now. They struggle to get it. 9.57 to play here in period three. Minto leading four to three. It's to the line. Shot! That was blocked. Hardy tried to get it to the net. Comes around. Pfeffer's going to get there first. He puts it back. Or no, Kowalik. Oh, and that one's off of his stick. And now Durham's going to take a penalty. That puck sent in. And now we're going to get a hooking penalty to Durham. And uh, Justin Abraham is going to take a hooking penalty on Adam Kowalik, and that's going to send Minto to the power play, leading 4-3. to three. So with 9.37 to play, Durham takes an ill-advised penalty, and uh, they go down a man as Abraham sits for two or less. Harrison in on the on the in the, on the boards. He'll come up with it. Skate toward the middle. Hardwick! What a stop by Ouellette! Back to the line. They keep it in. Pleon. Shot! Nice stop, Ouellette, and he holds on. Wow. Harrison got it out to Hardwick, who is in the slot all by himself. And Ouellette made an unbelievable save to keep this a one-goal game. 9.22 to go here in the third period. 1.43 to play in the uh, power play for Minto. 
That puck is all the way down on Nelson. He'll play it ahead. Mike Pleon puts it in behind the net. Jake Pleon out there with him. He'll skate it around his net and come out. He'll play it across to Tyler Harrison. Harrison over to Mike Pleon and across the line. Pleon sends it in deep and Harrison will go after it. Try to come up with the puck. It was intercepted by Durham easily and they send it all the way down. Puck is sent ahead. Here's Hardwick. His shot, oh, that just missed on the glove side of Ouellette. That didn't miss by much, folks. That was really close. Jake Pleon, across the red line. He was almost bodied in by Ratchford, but now he's out of the play. Minto in, Hartwick in behind the net. He'll look to the line, he'll just play it in deep. Harrison has it now. 48 seconds left on the power play. It's over to Jake Pleon. Bouncing puck, he's able to keep it in deep. Cote. He's out there against the Netta. Pleon gets it back at the, Jake Pleon has another point, nice move. Another nice move, he always hold down and it's gonna come out. 30 seconds left to go in the Minto power play. They lead it four to three with eight minutes to go here in the third period. Jamison Buck in behind his own net. He'll come out, he'll put it over to Kyle Ellis. Ellis, over the Durham line and then across the line. He's got the puck, it was in the skates of the official, and Ratchford's gonna come up with it for Durham, he'll send it all the way to the line and out. Mike Pleon has it at the line, he'll bring it back in. Over to Kowalik, shot, nice stop, who let it, he'll hold on for the face off. One second left in the penalty to Durham before we back to even strength. Matthew Ouellette has looked real sharp in this third period for Durham. Puck is controlled by Minto. That's in on Ouellette and he'll hold on as we're all back to even strength now. So number eight, Justin Graham has the goal for Durham here in the third period that makes this a one goal game. And there's a face off coming up here in the uh, Durham end. Durham controls off the face off. Kyler Nixon has it and he has speed. He comes ahead, he'll send it ahead. But it's off the skate and now Minto's got it again. Up to Colin Hartwick and across the line. Hartwick, to put it towards the middle. That stopped, he gets the rebound and scores! Colin Hartwick with a huge goal for Minto and it restores the two goal lead. What a play from number 27, Colin Hartwick. So with 7.16 to play, Minto has taken the two goal lead back. Thanks to Colin Hartwick. All right, pass, let's go. So we'll wait for the official on the assist, but Colin Hartwick's got the goal. That puts the 81s back ahead by two. It's five to three. Sent into the Durham zone. So the assists go to Hill and Aiken on Hartwick's goal that makes it 5-3 Minto. Sent around, 6.58 to go here in period three. Minto now leads 5-3. It's ahead, Shantz plays it to Denver, uh, uh, Jake Pleon and he'll send it in. Minto will go after it. Derek Matheson for Durham, brings it ahead. He'll send it all the way down and it's gonna go. They're not gonna say icing though. Drew Shantz goes after it in his own end. Durham controls, Justin Graham. He's bodied in there by Cote. They're gonna come loose. It's gonna go all the way down. That's gonna be icing against Minto. All right, we have two more winners for our draw here on the food Six twenty-five to play here in the third period. Five-three is the score for Minto. Comes ahead. O'Connell tried to get it to the front, but it was intercepted. It's into the middle, and it's going to go all the way down. Justin Abraham's going to have to come back. He's out there with Eric Anetta on this defensive pair for Durham. We approach six minutes to play here in the third period. Minto 
leads 5-3. Matheson, or uh, Aneta, come ahead and now Pepper has it across the blue line. Gives it to Quark, takes a big hit! And they're gonna whistle it down, and Durham's gonna get another penalty here. Graham has it as Minto gets the extra attacker out. Durham's gonna take a penalty, and uh, when they touch the puck, and uh, the goalie touches it, and we're gonna get a penalty as uh, Wade Pfeffer was bodied down, and it's an interference penalty. So Justin Abraham has taken another penalty here in the third period, and that's gonna put Minto on the power play with 5.38 to play here in period three. They call interference on it, and uh, the faceoff's gonna come out just outside the Minto zone. It's one back to the line. Oh, that's ripped off of Zach Graham, and he felt that. Kyler Nixon sent it, or Ratchford sent it in, and it hit Zach Graham, and that's gotta be stinging. But he looks to be okay. Puck is ahead. Kowalik has it in his own end. He'll start away, but he's gonna stop and play it back to Mike Pleon. Pleon puts it ahead. Zach Graham's gonna go in after it. He's got the puck in deep now. He's around the net. He gets it stripped off of him now, and it's gonna come all the way around and all the way out. Five minutes to play here in period three. 81's leading, five to three. Mike Pleon puts it around the boards. It's gonna come to Pepper. Puts it up to Kowalik, across center, into the Durham zone. That comes over to the sideboards where Cote missed it. Now here comes Durham, two on two the other way. Matheson sends it in on Nelson, he makes the save, and he's just gonna hang on. We'll get a face off. There's one minute left to go in the Minto power play. 4.39 to go here in the third period. Minto leads five to three. Ellis has it in behind his own net. He's pressured there by Justin Graham, number 22. Ellis has it now. He'll send it ahead. Harrison has it. He puts it ahead to Cote in across the line. Sends it across. Hartwick was loading up, but it was, but it was uh, in his skates. Back to Ellis at the point. He'll send it in. It's deflected in behind the net of Ouellette. Pinned on the end boards now. Cote in there with Hartwick trying to get a hold of the puck. Hartwick's got it now in behind the net. He's looking to the line, he'll put it back to Buck. Buck at the blue line, puts it in deep. 22 seconds left on the Minto power play, four minutes to go in the third period. Puck is sent deep, Harrison has it. Puts it to Cote, it didn't reach him. Here's a shot, Hartwick stopped by Ouellette. And he'll hang on. 11 seconds to go in the Minto power play. 3.49 to go in period number three. Face off coming up here to the left hand side of Roulette. Minto has scored here to make it a two goal game again. Hartwick with the goal. Sent across. There's a shot on Roulette, nice save. Rebound by Okwalik on point blank. He was stoned by Ouellette. Nice save. Harrison's out there with uh, Pfeffer. Uh, yeah, with Pfeffer and Harrison. Comes across. Houston. Oh, he tried to get the shot away, but Hardy did a nice job to get his stick in the way and deflected it slowly in on Nelson. And with uh, 325 to play here in period three, we're all even. Minto leading still five to three. We're even five on five. Graham out there to take this draw against Graham, number eight of Minto. So we have an eight Graham on Durham and Minto, and then a 22 Graham, how about that? Backhand to the net, nice stop by Nelson. Ellis is gonna get there first. He's going to bring it across center and just dump it in. We're approaching three minutes to go here in period three. Minto still leading five to three. In across the line, Kyler Nixon sends it in deep and he'll go after it against Kyle Ellis, he'll get there first. 
Ellis did a nice job to take him in. Now it's gonna come all the way around the net. Trevor Houston, over to Justin Graham. Graham tried to put it to the line and hit his skate and it comes all the way out. 2.45 to play here in period three. Matheson back in his own end. We'll keep an eye on the goaltending net of Durham for when they decide to pull Matthew Ouellette. It's gonna come ahead, Ratchford in across. Oh, takes a big body check of the line by Drew Schantz. That's gonna come out and all the way to the Durham end. 2.22 to go in period three. Minto leading 5-3. Ratchford takes the spill as him and Denver Hill collided. Gonna come Durham now, oh, big body check. Denver Hill steals it, shot! Oh, and he took a big body check from Ratchford. And now Ratchford wants to body, or wants to sh feed uh, Denver Hill. Boy, that was not good. It's, uh, <laughs> this is not good. So, we're gonna get some penalties here. And uh, they'll try and sort this all out. We have 2.02 remaining in the third period. Minto leading five to three. What a sequence of events that was. Denver Hill and Jake Brown come together. Brown took the worst of it. And then Denver Hill got a shot off and Todd Ratchford come across and put the body on Denver Hill and then decided to throw the gloves and started chucking them at Denver Hill. At least that's what it looked like from my vantage point. We'll try and sort this all out though. No penalties are showing yet on the board. It looks like they're just relaying the penalties here now. We, you had to know this was coming though, here in the third period, it kept getting more and more chippy. And uh, with Minto leading five to three, in a game of such importance, given that Durham sits in sixth position, four points clear of Minto, who sits in a tie for ninth coming into tonight. And this is a huge game in the standings. So there's a five minute penalty showing up on the Durham side of things right now. And that looks to be all. So it looks like the remainder of this game will be played with the Minto power play. As uh, we'll see what they, uh, they announce on the uh, speakers here. So somebody will have to go in the box and that'll be number 23, Jack Francis. He'll serve the five minute. And that's one back. Minto controls on this power play. 158 to play here in period three. Minto leading five to three. Mike Pleon, captain of Minto, sends it ahead. It's gonna come all the way into the Durham line. Pfeffer goes after it against Kyler Nixon. Comes to the line to Mike Pleon. He steps up, puts it in low. He was looking for Pfeffer, but he was unable to get to it. Matheson sends it ahead. Here comes Durham into the Minto blue line. It's across and it goes out of the reach of everyone. Nixon will keep it in, it's in deep. Jake Pleon has it in behind his own net. Graham lost his stick. He was trying, and Justin Graham still played, tried to play defense on him without a stick. Zach Graham has it in the Durham end. 1.10 to go here in the third period. Let's see if this game ends nicely. 
That's going to be a penalty as Wade Pfeffer took down Kyler Nixon, or sorry, Justin Graham, and he's going to sit. Wade Pfeffer is going to take a two-minute penalty for tripping, and uh, that'll uh, put us even here. We're at a, exactly a minute to go here in the third period. Minto leading five to three. Faceoff coming up here. Wait a sec, they got too many guys on the Durham side. They have five guys out there on the Durham side. Oh, sorry, thank you. I didn't see that, I apologize, sir. So Durham has pulled the goalie. They have five guys out there because the goalie is pulled, trying to pull for the equalizer. We're in the final minute here in the third period. Minto leads five to three. They, Durham controls in behind, in the Minto end. A shot to the line, oh, that was tipped over the net of Nelson. Buck plays it out and it's gonna come all the way down. That's gonna be an icing call as we're even strength here. It should be four on four. It should be four on four but Durham has the extra guy out there because, because of the net being empty. We have 40 seconds remaining here in the third period. The faceoff coming up to the left-hand side of Nelson. Graham in on the draw. Timeout for Durham. So Durham has elected to take a 30-second timeout, and we'll refresh here. Been an exciting one here tonight in Durham. Could have predicted that coming in. But we have 40 seconds to play. Uh, next Minto game is uh, tomorrow night in Tilsonburg against the Tilsonburg Thunder. That one goes at 7.30. This is my last game before the holidays as uh, I will be unable to make the trip to Tilsonburg. This has been an absolute pleasure doing these games for the WOAA and the Minto 81s and all the teams in the league for the better for this half of the uh, 2019 year as Minto wins that draw and they'll send it around. We have 35 seconds left here in the third period. That's gonna come out to the line. Kyler Nixon keeps it in, his shot, hit a stick, and it's gonna flag to Nelson. Nice, nice play off the netting. Not necessary, but it was fancy anyway. Nelson gloved it. And uh, we'll reset here. Faceoff's gonna come up to the left-hand side, or right-hand side, and Nelson with 28 seconds left to go here in the third period. It's five on four out there now as Durham has the net empty. Durham try to come ahead with it. Ellis plays it ahead, but Nixon intercepts. Puts it across. That one goes over the stick of the Durham uh, player, and it comes into the neutral zone. We have 15 seconds to go in the third period. Nixon, try to get past Graham. Graham does a nice job. He'll just send it down, and that won't be icing as he was on the Durham side of center, and that's going to do it. As the puck is sent in, and the final seconds will tick off. Minto with the win. They take it. 5-3 is the final. So shots on goal in the third period, 12-8 in favor of Minto. But the more important factor, 5-3, the final score for Minto. They pick up a huge two points in Durham here tonight. Final score, 5-3 for Minto. As they get the win, they improve to 6-7-1, while Durham falls to 7-7-1. Seven, seven That'll do it from Durham. Andrew Rogers signing off saying goodnight from Durham.